Okay, time for Natas level 4 to level 5. We have our username and URL, which I've logged into here, um, where we're immediately confronted with the message Access Disallowed. You are not logged in. Okay, and there's no buttons, nothing to click. Um, so this raises the question, how does how does the browser, how does the website know that we're not logged in? Um, you know, if you think from the last exercise, we send a HTTP get request to this website and it sends us back the information and somehow it knows that we're not logged in. So we must be sending it some information that's suggesting that we're not logged in. And this is the idea of a cookie. So again, cookies, if you want to, to read up on them, is the thing that you need to be looking for um, in this particular exercise. Maybe you want to try and give it a go first before listening to me talk about it. Um, but you know, cookies are very popular, a very controversial thing these days with tracking cookies and such. Um, but essentially they were sort of designed as a reliable method to um, uh, sort of keep uh, keep log of, of what you're doing on a website or like useful information like a shopping cart, you know, so when you put something in your uh, this is the very the classic uh, example when you go to a website and you add something to your shopping cart how does the website know when you click on another page um, you've just made a HTTP request to it um, the web server just sends some information back but how does it know that you already have something in your cart well it's because we have a cookie that says that we have something in our cart already and we send that to the web server so the web server knows to send back the correct web page you know, corresponding to that particular request, um, and and so yeah, cookies are used for loads of different reasons. Um, there's authorization cookies. You know, when you're logged in, maybe you have a specific cookie that that says to the server, you know, I'm logged in as this particular user, um, and all done in a in a secure and encrypted way. You would hope. Um, so when, but but the point is, when you see something like this you are not logged in, you think, well, how does it know? Well, then maybe we're giving it some information that says we're not logged in somehow. Um, and so when you think that, you probably want to look at cookies. Now, I'm going to open up the, the web developer tools in Firefox here, which you can do in the hamburger menu, um, and web developer, and toggle tools. Um, but in the future, I'm just going to use Control, Shift, and I, because that's much quicker. If we open this up, we have a ton of different tools. Um, we have Inspector, which lets us see the, the HTML content of the, the page. Console, which lets us interact with um, the JavaScript and debugger for scripts and all sorts of things. Network to see what, um, how long it took things to happen and you know what the requests are being made and all sorts of stuff. But the one we're worried about, and you might have seen I was already clicked onto it when I first came onto these tools, was storage. Because storage is where your cookies are kept. Um, and you have all these different types of storage, but cookies is the thing we're interested in. And you can see that in here we have these this, this CFD UID cookie, which I don't have a clue what that's doing. Um, but we also have this logged in cookie. So now this is a piece of information that we're passing to the website every time we ask it for a request. So when we say, you know, can I have this such and such page, we're also passing it this logged in uh, and with a value of zero. Now that web page is just looking at that saying, oh, he's got a, his cookie says logged in value zero. So I'm not going to send him a page which says he's logged in, I'm going to send him the page that says access disallowed and you're not logged in. So we can think to ourselves, well, okay, if zero is, is we're not logged in, well, what about if we change that to one? Um, if we change that to one, what happens? And you can see we can just, we can just edit this again because it's a piece of information that's stored locally that we're sending to the server. So we can just change this to one. Um, which is great. Now you see nothing happens because we haven't made a request yet. So we're going to request the page now with this cookie set as one and see what happens. And there you go. 
So the server has seen that the cookie has been set to one. Um, you know, this would be a terribly insecure way of doing this, right? Because it's just so easily broken. But it's seen that we're we've got a cookie set to one. It's like, oh, that person's logged in. I'm going to send them the the logged in page. So it sends us back this lovely one, Fanata six with the password. Um, I hope that's I hope that's sufficient. Um, and please look more about cookies if you want to learn more. But but you know when it's something like that where it's like a logged in message or something like this, you can often think, well, maybe the first place I should look is cookies. Okay, so there's the password and I'll see you in the next one.